A little bit. A little bit. Like, I would, you know, it's not like insane. But yeah, just, just, just a tad bit. Oh, yeah, we'll be talking. Yeah. <laughs> you guys ready to rehearse? Looking at the song, is you're, you're almost not even looking at each other yet. Yeah, for, I like for this dialogue. And then at a, once you make the song selection, then it becomes something else. Right? Yeah. Cool. This is going to be nice. What do you say we get out of here? Well, I don't even know your name. For us, we were always looking for something that was able to embrace part of Zac Efron's personality, but also subvert it. When I read this script by Wurwe, uh, it instantly made sense because it was exactly what we had been looking for. Because what made Ted so dangerous was that he was so charming. I promise you'll never leave me, Liz. Because I honestly don't know what I'd do without you. I would never. Zach is actually the perfect Bundy. I can't imagine another person. Top ones are all veneers. They're all veneers for the movie. These are more real teeth. Oh, scratch that. Reverse it. <laughs> this is the story of how he charmed people into believing he, he was not possible. I mean, the interesting thing about Bundy is that there were so many chances to catch him but there were many examples along the way where people just failed to see the signs, including there was an artist sketch, and all of his friends teased him that he looked like the sketch, and he had a VW, and the suspect was named Ted, and yet all these things, you know, people just kept giving him a pass. You look nice, partner. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm disguised as an attorney today. <laughs> well then, let's put on a show. <laughs> We have an extraordinary cast of actors who are all with Joe hand in hand, going through intensive research and process to really hit the notes as authentically as possible. I am, in fact, not guilty. I have to question the competency of this expert witness. Shiho, media, Extremely wicked, shockingly evil, vile. Ted Bundy.